hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial in today's video tutorial we will be covering the counter so the, as in the previous uh, uh, tutorial I use the increment function and the decrement function the increment function is also used for counting and the counter is also used for counting but what's the main difference between the increment and counter now to best understand the difference between the increment and counter let's suppose we have an industrial process let's open a model now this is an industrial process in which we have three sensors sensor number one sensor number two and sensor number three all these sensors are infrared sensors Okay, now in, in this industrial uh, process, what we are doing, actually we have two conveyor belts, conveyor belt number one and conveyor belt number two. And we have a problem. And the problem is that we have to design such a system that counts the number of portals. And we also have to monitor the overall production. This is a box and this box can have three portals when the box is filled it will automatically activate the pneumatic cylinder the pneumatic cylinder will push this box on this conveyor belt so when this box is pushed on this conveyor belt it will activate sensor number three which will clear the counter and when this box passes through this sensor so what it will do it will count the number of boxes so the sensor number two can be used for the overall production monitoring that how many boxes are filled in one day and sensor number one can be used for activating the pneumatic cylinder when the box is filled and each box can have three bottles so how to do this in uh, programming and which sensor is connected with the increment function and which sensor is connected with the counter so let's uh, see that in programming so let's start the programming open win pro letter click on new select the type of PLC you are using the one I am using is FPS 14 MA click OK and OK so let's start programming now sensor number one will be used with the counter so X0 So one press F on the keyboard and write C for the counter we have total counters from 0 to 255 click OK we will be using C0 counter and the preset value as we have to as each box has three bottles can have three bottles so we will write three and OK now a sensor number three will be used for clearing the counter so over here I will use X2 sensor three and press H on the keyboard to connect this and now select the differential of contact click here and write x1 which is sensor 2 for the function click f and write inc and click ok and the destination for example d2 we will be storing the value in d2 so as we will be uh, shifting the box with the help of the pneumatic cylinder 
so let's uh, connect uh, and we assume that the pneumatic cylinder is connected to y2 output of the plc so click o on the keyboard and y0 over here that is pneumatic cylinder So let's check once again and understand the whole process. The whole process is that that the pneumatic cylinder will be activated automatically when the box is filled and each box can, can have three bottles. So when the sensor counts three bottles, it will give signal to the Y0 and it will activate the pneumatic cylinder it will push this box to the other and as soon as it is uh, pushed onto this uh, another conveyor belt the sensor number three activates and it clears the counter and uh, when uh, this box passes through this sensor it counts the box so how it will work let's see that simulation and run for example one bottle is passing through a sensor that is counted another one and then the third one so as soon as it passes it activates the pneumatic cylinder it pushes the box onto another conveyor belt and when it is passed that box will come in front of the sensor number 3 which will activate the input give signal to x2 so when it gives signal to x2 it will give signal to the clr and it will clear the counter so so it's ready for the next bottle and when this box passes through x1 it will increment that and the value is stored over here so over here it's 3 because in the table we already have two values stored in that so that's why it's 3 so again the process is 1 2 bottles 3 bottles the pneumatic cylinder is activated push the box onto another conveyor belt and at that time sensor number 3 activates and it clears the counter and when that box is box passes through sensor number two it acts and it counts so the increment and so the difference the main difference between the increment and uh, the, the the counter and increment is that when when we use the increment function and the value that it's uh, stored in uh, in some memory location this value can be accessed in uh, SCADA programming this value is uh, stored in a memory location and can be used for in arithmetic functions and uh, it can be also moved from one memory location to another memory location by using the move function which we will cover in the later tutorial so this is how the OR function is done so it, uh, the each function the counter and the increment function has its own advantages so that's how the increment and counter functions are used if you like my video please subscribe to my channel like my video share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching